I'm JJ. This channel's about helping intermediate drummers become advanced. You've read the title, so let's just get into it. There's a lot of talk, especially in the area of practicing rudiments, about having to fix your weak hand. Trying to fix your weak hand is pointless, and I'll explain why. Let's look at Steven Taylor's video on this. And just before I start, I just want to say that I like most of his videos, and he seems like a nice guy. We always have one, everyone has one, and it's not the same for necessarily uh, guitar, because, or, or, or you know, bass or something, the hands are doing two different things, they're moving in tandem, you're using them in different ways, but with drums, we essentially use the two hands in the same way. This is bullshit. So if you look at almost any song on the drums, you'll see that this isn't true. And I'm really not sure why he said this, because in his 20 fun slash hard drum songs video, he mostly plays different things on each hand. Why is it weaker? Why is it, well, first of all, we do everything with our dominant hand, right? You eat, you, you uh, drive, you flip the turn signal, you wash your hair, you brush your teeth, everything is with the right, you write, it's with your right hand. I do agree with him on this. He then goes on to recommend these practice pad exercises. I'm going to be on a pad, I'm going to isolate and finger control. I'm going to be doing these exercises over and over. Which are completely different to the groove that he or other drummers actually play. I explain more about this in this video. And at 3 minutes 40, he blatantly says his left hand is weaker than his right hand. Hey, oh, my left hand's not as good as my right one. Well, yeah. I know, neither is mine, but I need to be more specific with that. So I'm assuming the title is just clickbait, because he hasn't actually fixed his weak hand. My main argument against his and other videos that aim to fix your weak hand is that there's no need for them to be equal if you're a drum kit player. If you look at the main beat in Physical Education by Animals as Leaders, You'll see that the right hand functions completely differently to the left. The right hand keeps a steady pulse, while the left plays big backbeats and fills the gaps with ghost notes. And in another groove, Seven Days by Sting, the right hand plays constant eighth notes, and the left hand just plays cross stick which are completely different. So what you should do is practice what each hand actually does on the drum kit. The basic idea is that the right hand plays on the beat and the left hand plays rim shots with the occasional ghost notes off the beat. As you do this in 80% of grooves, you should definitely practice this the most. So leave these weak hand fixing exercises for a small portion of your practice time and only do them if you enjoy them. And for fills, I think these practice pad exercises can help with your accent tap technique and it is something that takes longer to develop on your left hand normally and it's quite important for fills like these however a lot of fills can only really be practiced on a drum kit and can't be replicated on a pad especially ones that are harder on your left hand like these And lastly, I just want to point out that it's basically impossible to truly fix your weak hand as a drum kit player. That's because your weak hand is weak for a reason, and that's because it plays less notes. That means any attempt to fix your weak hand by isolating it will just be fighting what naturally happens when you play on the kit. And for this reason, there's no point prioritizing your weak hand as it is just used less. This is different for other kinds of percussionists, but I'll talk about that in another video. And that's why trying to fix your weak hand is basically a waste of time, and instead you should practice what each hand actually does on the drum kit. 